I've always wanted to make a bull whip as long as I can remember a paracord bull whip, you know, ever since I saw one. And I just finally managed to get enough paracord together to build a six foot, well, it's actually a little smaller than six foot paracord bull whip. And it's terrible. I built it terribly. I, I, it's the first time I've done it, you know. I had no idea what I was doing. And I mean, just here, look. See some of the braiding here. See, the braiding is loose. I have electrical tape holding it together. Um, you know, my braiding on the handle, it's atrocious. And here I have electrical tape holding it together there. And But you know, it's a first try. And I'm sure I'll make another one at some point, but it's a bull whip and it still works, you know. And I'm just interested to see, you know, it makes a lot of sound and everything. I'm just really interested to see just what kind of damage such a crudely made and poorly made bullwhip can do on a bunch of different stuff. So I'm down here at my target range once again. And today on this episode of Jig Makes, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be testing my new bullwhip. Yep. <laughs> Well, in the middle of doing that, my cracker fell off, so I just went ahead and quickly tied another length of paracord on here, and I'll just go with that. But <laughs> that shows you how bad I made this, huh? It still works fine, just very poorly constructed. Let's pick off a few of these cans up there. And next up for total annihilation is a tangerine. Let's see if I can hit that. Get the range right. There we are. Miss one. Got a little bit of damage there. Let's go again. Let's see if I can hit it harder this time. There we go. Halfed it. Tore it right in half. Awesome. Alright, as you can see here, I just set up a soda can on top of that paint can there. And let's see what it'll do to that. Let's just pick it off.
Well, here's the battle damage. <laughs> Completely crunched in a million different places. How about an apple? Let's try cutting that apart. Oh, look at that. I missed. I missed and hit the soda can. But I hit right between the apple and the soda can. So look at this. It cut the bottom of the apple off. That's some pretty impressive power. Let's try again. I cut the complete bottom off the apple that time. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't even find the rest of the apple, but look, look at that, it cut it cleanly in half. <laughs> oh, man, I don't even know how it does that. That is incredible. Let's try again. Cut it again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep dicing this thing. Alright, that's about all I'm going to do this apple. Not much of the apple left. Cut through it all. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's try cracking it a few times. My whip is a lot harder to crack because I didn't put weights in it and uh, for some reason this new uh, cracker is not working as well, but it does work. I've done it before. Oh man, oh. like I said, my whip doesn't crack very easily because I didn't put weights in it. I didn't really know what I was doing when I made it. A lot of people put weights in their whips and it makes it a lot easier to crack. 
Mine's really hard to crack. So I gotta work out. All right, now how about a more interesting target? An egg. See what it'll do to that. Well, that wasn't quite the explosion I was hoping for, but uh, I think I can make up for it. With a can of Coke. All right, I've shaken it up to the point where I'm afraid it's gonna explode in my hand. Now let's blow it up. Here we go. <laughs> and there's still enough in here to drink. That's great because I was really disappointed I was going to have to blow this up. Because it's the last one, I wanted to drink it. Alright, now I am going to do something even more fun. Now I'm going to see if I can blow up with my whip a water bottle full of baking soda and vinegar which as you know produces carbon dioxide and when I shake up that when I shake up that bottle it'll mix the two together and the gas will start expanding and it'll make the bottle get real big and swell up and if I leave it alone it'll eventually make the bottle explode but I'm gonna see if I can hurry up that process with the whip in other words I'm gonna blow up that bottle Do the magic. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Blew the top clean off. Blew the top of the bottle clean off. Blew it open. Oh, that's always so fun. Time for the ultimate destruction.
so uh, wow yeah my uh, target range is looking pretty uh, bare all the destruction I mean I've got I've got soda cans everywhere here a few of the uh, a number of them it literally just tore apart as you can see Wow I mean look at that it just tore them right in half That thing is uh, pretty impressive for, I mean, what it is. I, I, I lost a, another cracker in the process. Uh, see, I, if it came off again, but wow. For such a uh, easy and poorly made cheap <laughs> thing, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it looks bad, it works. You know, that's... That's quite impressive. I definitely, and I definitely want to make a much better, longer, like, I don't know, like 15 foot bull whip in the future sometime. That would be absolutely epic if I made it right and everything. But, you know, even for just this, you know, first try, pretty poorly made thing, um, it's a ton of fun to use, and it's got a lot of power. Behind. It's it's amazing just how much force something like this can have, you know. And it travels; the end of it travels so fast. It's really cool. Mm. Well, guys, that's about all for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you like this project and would like to see some of my others, I have a bunch more on my YouTube channel. You should go check those out. And I have a ton more on my website, www.jakemakes.net. It's in the description box down below as well. I am also on instructables.com, so you can view some of my projects there if you want to. If you haven't ever been to Instructables, I would highly, highly recommend you do so. It is probably my favorite website, and it is just jam-packed full of awesome ideas, people showing other people how to build their awesome creations. I would highly, highly recommend you go check it out. Anyway, see you next time. Jake out.